am so glad that you're able to join me today as we continue our journey through the Proverbs. Let's jump right in to Proverbs 17. Proverbs 1 and 2. A home is a place of refuge where the inhabitants desire to live in peace. There's nothing more valuable than living in peace with your family in your home. And so when strife is introduced in your home, if you are not careful and you do not maintain a peaceful life, you will find yourself with strife. Don't allow strife to rob you of peace in your home. Whoever mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. God is not pleased when we mock the poor. He's not pleased when we take pleasure in another's trouble. When someone is having issues, it is not right for us to rejoice in the trouble that the person is having because God will view us the same as the person that have caused the trouble. Proverbs 9 through 11 says, Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates false friends. A rebuke goes deeper into a man of understanding than a hundred blows into a fool. An evil man seeks only rebellion, and a cruel messenger will be sent against him. This is such an important verse because it shows you the magnitude of love. Oftentimes, what usually happens is that we take offense to a lot of things because people have, you know, wronged us, people have done things to us, and we continue to harp on that issue. Instead of what the verse says, to cover an offense, it means that you are fostering love. But one who harps on it separates friends. This verse goes in parallel to 1 Peter 4, 8 that says, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers a multitude of sins. Verse 13 says, If you repay good with evil, evil will never leave your house. Proverbs 14 says, The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so quit before the quarrel breaks out. Verse 19 reads, Whoever loves a quarrel loves sin. Whoever builds a high gate invites destruction. To have a fool for a child brings grief. There is no joy for the parent of a godless fool. Verse 25 says, A foolish son brings grief to his father and bitterness to the mother who bore him. Let's read verses 27 and 28, which says, The one who has knowledge uses words with restraint, and whoever has understanding is even tempered. Even fools are thought wise if they keep silent and discerning if they hold their tongues. Now, this is not to say that when things happen in life, you are to remain silent, but it's having the wisdom to determine when you need to speak and when to remain silent. Being a wise person comes with knowing how to pick your battles. We have to realize that it's not everything that you have to argue for, make a fuss about. Sometimes it's just better to remain silent. Let's see what God wants us to know as we wrap up chapter 17. We learn to not be like the foolish child that brings grief to the parents, but turn away from folly. One way to preserve peace is to make the best of everything. Try to not focus on everything that people say, because a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. It is not always easy to hold your peace, but a wise person will learn that. Be careful when and how you speak. And do not, I am telling you, do not take on the offense of others. That's all for now. I'm so glad that you've joined us. Until next time, bye.